It's Rayton and Station here. I'm about to show you. I'm gonna try and make it decently quick and still informative. I'm gonna show you how I do my narrations. Now, first of all, I need to write the story. <laughs> so here's the story, and it's written. Once the story is written, and proofread, and spell checked, and all that, I go through and I color the dialogue different colors. This is Grudge of a Bad Seed, by the way. If you haven't read it, it is on my DeviantArt. It, I believe it's in three parts. So Jazz is yellow, Babs is orange, let's see, Chainlink is like a silver gray color, Rouge is red, doy, Short Fuse is dark gray, Branche is like a bluish color, Mr. Ranger's brown, Miscellaneous characters, characters that only literally have one or two lines, are just bolded in black. And there's a bunch of others, so... This is literally what all of my stories that I narrate look like. Here's Meet the Team. Here's The Fun Never Ends. In fact, even my Rayton fictions are colored. Mostly. Some of them aren't. It, usually I only color it if there are other voices that I need to put. Okay, so that's what the written version looks like. Now, to go and open grudge. With a grudge like a crown, negativity calculate what we will, will not tolerate. Okay, so here's Grudge of a Bad Seed. So far I've edited up to 40 minutes of it. <laughs> Got a lot more to go. So in full, right now it's about two and a half hours. Um, I'm guessing it'll be around two hours once I'm done editing it. So here's here's what it what it sounds like. Confused, seeing as how she hadn't taken a bath that morning, she inspected the bathroom and noticed that one of the towels was damp. Babs? She called in Shirley. Let me turn it up. When no answer came, Jazz softly opened Babs' door and saw a lump under the blank saw a lump under the blanket. Babs, what you doing home? Sick, Babs croaked. Jazz walked in and rubbed her shoulder. Uh huh, and you cold? Why are you wearing that sweater? Okay, so that's what it sounds like raw. I put markers around the dialogue. Babs? She called in Shirley. I delete long silences and such. Babs? She called in Shirley. When no answer came, that can actually be a little more, a little shorter. Called in Shirley. When no answer came, Jazz. When no answer came, Jazz softly opened Babs' door and saw a lump under the blank. Saw a lump under the blanket. Now this is this can get kind of tricky sometimes. So when I stutter, I have to fix it. So what I'm gonna do under the blank. Under the blanket. Is merge those two. Saw a lump under the blanket. But I don't really like that part of the word. Or and saw a lump under the blanket. There we go. That way I don't have that uh, under the blanket. <laughs> Babs, what you doing home? So that's dialogue. So put a marker. And another marker. Sick. Babs croaked. And that is also dialogue. So marker. Jazz walked in. Babs croaked. Jazz walked in and rubbed her shoulder. Uh huh, and you cold? Why are you wearing that sweater? Marker? Yeah, I'm cold. Want me to take your. So this is all dialogue right here. You take your temperature? Already took it. I have a fever. Jazz Brown and Okay. So you may want be wondering why did I color the dialogue? Why don't I just do all of the voices when I'm recording the first time? Well, because you might get mixed 
up between voices or you also might have to change pitches. For instance, Apple Bloom's voice is pitched up 2%, whereas Chainlink's voice is pitched down 6%? And plus, if you're doing, like, say, Apple Bloom's got that uh, southern accent, but Babs has the Manhattan accent, it's kind of difficult to change between the two. So what I do is I pre-record the dialogue. Here's Apple Bloom, Derpy, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie, all put in one. There's Babs in one, Branch Shea, Chainlink, Short Fuse, Miscellaneous Characters, Jazz, Mr. Ranger, who is pitched down significantly, Rouge, and I think that's it. So for this one, we're gonna open Babs, and we're gonna open Jazz. So this is what the, what the dialogue hey, files sound like. how about you and me go out for hay burgers tonight? So, who's this chain link boy? Horse apples. And Jazz is pitched up like, is it 2% or 3%? I don't remember. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the dialogue that we need next. Babs? Copy it. Go back to Grudge. Babs? Paste it. Get rid of the markers. Notice that one of the towels was damp. Bathroom and notice that one of the towels was damp. Babs? She called them surely. When no answer came, Jazz. Babs, what you doing home? So we're gonna go back to Jazz. Babs, what you doing home? This technique is to keep all of the voices consistent. Babs' door and saw a lump under the blanket. Babs, what you doing home? I'm going to highlight Babs' dialogue. We're going to go to Babs. <clears throat> and that's kind of quiet, so we're actually going to amplify it a little bit. Now we're going to Jazz softly opened Babs' door and saw a lump under the blanket. Babs, what you doing home? Sick. Babs croaked. Uh, that's kind of quick, so I'm going to put in some more space in between the two dialogues. Babs, what you doing home? Sick. Babs croaked. Jazz walked in and rubbed. You know what? I'm gonna put one there too. Sick. Babs croaked. Jazz walked in and rubbed her. It's still a little long. Uh huh. And you cold? Why are you wearing that sweater? Uh huh. And you cold? Why are you wearing that sweater? And take away the space from between there. Then and rubbed her shoulder. Oh. Decrease some of the space right there. Walked in and rubbed her shoulder. Oh, hon, you cold? Why are you wearing that sweater? Yeah, I'm cold. Okay, Babsy do. Yeah, I'm cold. That's still kind of quiet, so. I'm going to repeat Amplify, decrease some of the space. Aw, oh, hon, you cold? Why are you wearing that sweater? Yeah, I'm cold. What? It's still kind of... Want me to take your temperature? Want me to take your temperature? Temperature? Already took it. And 
Last bit of dialogue for this one. Already took it. I am a thieving. Want me to take a temperature? Already took it. I am a thieving. Jazz frowned and worry. All right, well. So that's how I do that. And so here's another, uh, here's change. So here's hit his um, voice pitch change. Did you go to the Hayburger factory? I hear that's the best joint in the city. And I do that with a lot of different things. So I ha have, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have uh, Gein and Keen's dialogue uh, for all of their stories except for the origin of the Jisatsu brothers in this file. I have my bucket list story, which is um, a Raytana fiction, and I have, or is it this one? I don't remember which one it is, I'll figure it out though. Then I have Senpai's voice right here, Tenji's voice, Koda's voice, and then Senpai doing uh, Yatmus. I can switch between myself, Anatir, and Evelyn pretty uh, fluidly. But for muffins, their voices can be very diverse. I can do Pinkie Pie just fine in between my regular voice and Pinkie Pie. Like, I can go, Cheer up, Rainbow Dash, said Pinkie Pie. But when you're doing multiple characters, and when you're doing a story that has so many characters, especially for those who need pitch changes, like, for instance, Minkie Pie, the pitch of her voice is increased by 4% whereas Inky Pie's voice is decreased by 4%. Blinky is not pitched up or down, but she does have a more, like, not raspy voice, but you, you kind of have to soften your voice a little more for her. Like, you know, a good example for me to do would be... So I haven't colored this dialogue because I haven't um, started this narration yet. So... Without pitch change, this is what Inkie Pie sounds like. Why in the hay does Pinkie Pie need so much fruit? And then after the pitch change, Why in the hay does Pinkie Pie need so much fruit? This is what Blinkie Pie sounds like. Maybe she's making some kind of super fruit pie. And then Minkie Pie, before the pitch change, sounds more like my Fluttershy. Presents for what? I still don't understand. And then after the pitch change, Presents for what? I still don't understand. So going between voice characters, like, let's see. Of course, she said softly. We never celebrated our birthdays until you got your cutie mark, Pinky. Mama and Papa wouldn't have ever given Obsidian a party or anything like that. Ya yeah, mean, Apple Bloom started, walking up to the dark mare. Y'all never got any presents or anything like that? Presents for what? I still don't understand, said Minkie Pie. So it's just easier to say the dialogue, of course, she said softly, we never celebrated our birthdays until you got your cutie mark, Pinky, so that I can edit it in later, and I don't have to actually think about changing, because if I say like I go between Pinky and Derpy, I'll accidentally end up making one sound like the other, or I realize that I couldn't do any of the Manhattan characters after doing Apple Bloom. I had to do all the main ha Manhattan characters um, before I did Apple Bloom because then I started giving a southern drawl to the Manhattan characters, and that's not the accent that I was going for. So, yeah, that's how I do my narrations. Now, I don't know when the Grudge of a Bad Seed narration is going to be up, as you saw where I was compared to how much I need to get. I, I've been working on this narration since... Oh, let me see when I started it. Nope, that's not right. This is a copy of the original. So, the original is actually on my external hard drive that's not plugged in right now. But, I've been working on this since before Power Snuffed. Okay? And Power Snuffed took a long time. So you guys just need to be patient with me, alright? But that's that's how I edit my narrations. If you're interested in in listening to what a completely raw narration sounds like, uh, I have one. Just one. I only uploaded it out of um, 
satisfying some curiosity, I have the raw audio for Prison Break. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video. If you do not press that like button, ordinary garden gnomes will come into your room at night and super glue a potato to your face. Okay, it's a serious situation, so make sure to punch that like button. And make sure to subscribe, spread the word of awesome, become a Raytonite, and I shall see you later, alligators and crocodiles. Goodbye! And don't forget to support me and my friends over at the Muffins Playlist! <laughs> I love you, Goku. I love you, Vegeta. I love you, Riyazaki! I love you, Light! I love you, Pikachu! I love you, Mana! I love you, Freedom Apple! I love you, HP! I love you, Rubber Ducky! I love you, Exploding Bunny!